one of Australia's top 100 golf courses. Designed by the legendary Graham Marsh, this beautiful course features wide fairways, extensive bunkering and water hazards, including several mindering creeks. <coughs> Look good, didn't it? First swing of the day, 331 meter par four. I think it goes a little bit to the left. There's a bunker on the right. It shouldn't really be in the way. The wind is a little bit into me, so I might have to hit a low, less spinny draw. Smash that one. Melbourne weather is crazy. You get four seasons in one day. You can wake up one morning, extremely sunny, and you step outside and you get struck by a lightning or get swept away by the avalanche or something. <sighs> Hit that drive pretty good. Left myself like 40 yard chip shot. Um, I think there's a down slope. There's a slight ridge. That's where I need to land so they can kind of trickle up to the pin. Go, go, go! Not bad. Didn't really quite get that ridge. I just missed the slope here, which was gonna feed to the hole, but got a little downhill and then uphill left to right. I'm gonna aim maybe a cup left with a pretty firm stroke. Oh. <sighs> Damn! Damn it! Ah. ah, could have been a nice little start with a birdie. It just slipped off at the end. What is this? 312 meter par four. Almost the same length as the first one. Bunker on the left, which I know I can get over with the driver, but I'm just gonna hit a four iron down the middle and keep me in play. Down the middle and if you've watched my latest video this is why you don't need to hit a driver off every single tee because four iron i've got myself a nice nine iron into the green and a good opportunity to get a birdie oh i thinned it but it could be good oh long <sighs> ah went really long i really don't have a lot to work with here there's a little ridge up here which is where I need to land so that it can just roll down to the pin. So there's two options to play here. I can either land it short and let it roll out or I can hit a really high flop and land it soft. I think I'm gonna do a flop shot. Pretty good. Okay, nice little straight putt. If anything, it might break to the left. I'm gonna aim inside right. Par train. One seventy-four meter par three. I got to hit this pretty straight. The wind's going slightly right to left. So I'm gonna try and hit a fade so that it can kind of hold off into that wind and hit a straighter shot. Be good. Oh, a little bit left. Okay, downhill part. Looks like it's going to break at the end. I'm going to aim a little bit to the left, maybe a cup left. Come back, come back, come back. Oh. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Jesus, I thought that was going to miss. <laughs> oh, i got to get off this pie train early and hop on the birdie train. Because the first two holes were necessarily too hard. <sighs> anyway, 443 meter par four. Uh, there's a bunker just in front of me, which shouldn't be in the way. I'm just going to hit a big high draw. <laughs> Damn. I don't think the group in front put the pin back in because I can't see the hole. 
Well, it's 150 to the front bunker. Because I can't see the pin, I don't know which side of the green I need to attack. I'm just gonna aim straight and see where that goes. These bastards, did they not know Golf Stomp was out here playing today? Be good. Whew. Okay, this spot to go one under. Uphill, left to right. I'm gonna aim maybe a couple holes left because I think this is gonna break a lot for some reason. <laughs> Finally off the par train. Let's go! Okay, finally hopped off the par train. Now let's take this momentum and play this par five. Another great opportunity to get a birdie. Pretty straight, nothing too special, except you've got two bunkers on the left and right. Nothing really gets in the way of this massive drive I'm gonna hit. Right down the middle! All day Come on! <laughs> what a drive. Okay, bomb that drive maybe 315 yards. Got 188 yards to the pin. The pin is just tucked over this front bunker. I'm gonna have to get it pretty high so I can avoid the bunker and land it soft. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit high cut with a four iron and hopefully that gets some spin. Oh, a low cut. Could be good. Get up, get up. Ah, bunker. I love these bunker shots because you can really get it up there and generate some spin. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, I just stayed up there. Damn. Man, that could have been so good because this part is where the downhill starts. So oh, I thought it was going to be perfect. Okay, downhill, slight left to right, maybe even right to left. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to aim straight and see how that goes because when in doubt, just pot straight. Hold, 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 hold. Ah! Okay, very disappointing par. One under through five. We have a 369 meter par four. Dog leg left. Two bunkers on the left and right hand side. I might have to aim left of the bunker and try and hit a cut. And hopefully this gets over it. Holy moly, I smoked that. <laughs> okay, huge drive. I've got a 60 yard chip shot. I don't have a lot to work with, so I'm gonna have to get this up pretty high and then land it soft. Sit. Be good. Woo, beautiful. Okay, five foot pop for birdie. Inside right, and it should be good. I wish I could show you guys just how beautiful this course is. Hop back onto the birdie train. We have another par five, 480 meters. Bunkers to your left and right. I'm just gonna aim left and hit another high fade. Holy moly, what's wrong with me today? Smashing everything, beautiful. Okay, long drive. I've got a five iron here. I needed to get there, so I'm gonna hit a big draw. What the? Come around, come around. Damn, I pushed it. Okay, I pushed that shot to the right, but pin high. I got a nice little chip shot. There's a little ridge where it kind of just feeds to the hole, so I'm gonna have to land it somewhere just on the green. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Another birdie. Thank you. Three under through seven. I've got a seven iron onto this par three. I'm gonna hit a high draw because I've got a lot of room to work with on the right and see how it goes. 
Holy, be good. Get in. Oh, she's dancing. Okay, not too bad. Relatively pin high downhill part left to right. I'm gonna aim maybe two to three cups left. Hold, 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 hold you. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Three under three, eight. That's fine, let's finish strong. Okay, 400 meter par four. Pretty straight hole. A bunker to the right. Shouldn't really get in the way. Holy moly, what is wrong with me? That's beautiful. Wow. I must have hit that drive about 330 yards because I've got about 60 yard chip shot. Definitely makes the game a lot easier and more fun when you do hit it long. But there was a slight downhill here, so I'm sure I probably landed 290 and then just rolled out a lot. Okay, 60 degrees, high floppy shot and land it soft because I don't have a lot to work with here. Wow, awful, awful doff. I can't believe I missed that shot. Uh, so just green edge, uphill. I think this is left to right. I'm just gonna try and get it close because, ah. Sit. Okay, tap in for a putt. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Ah, very disappointing. That's what makes tall players pros and me, just average golfer. So another par five, 517 meters. Let's get another drive in. I'm hopefully leave myself another five or a six iron in. That'd be pretty nice. Beautiful. Okay, it's starting to rain, bit chilly on the wheelie. This second shot here, I can't really go for the green because the pin's tucked away too far on the left and I've got a hazard on the left here. So I'm just going to lay up onto this fairway on the right with a six iron and then hopefully a nice approach in. Give ourselves a nice chance for a birdie. Okay, not bad. Okay, this is not where I wanted to lay up. I have zero green to work with, so we're gonna have to do our signature floppy, floppy, high chip shot. Oh, be good, be good. Get up, get up, get up. Whew. Risky, but got it. So it landed just here and rolled up a bit. And now I got myself a nice little spot for birdie. Okay, glove off, uphill. If anything, it's going to turn at the end, so I'm going to aim inside left. Ah. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting an allergic reaction to something. Ooh. 151 meters to the pin. Bunker to the right. Uh, I'm gonna have to aim left. I'm not really comfortable hitting a fade here. I'm gonna just aim left edge of that bunker and just hit a high draw and see how it goes. Oh, straight at the bunker. A bit short. Okay, left it very short. I uh, should have hit it a little bit harder, but short little chip shot. I don't have a lot to work with, only because it goes uphill and then there's a little ridge and then it feeds to the hole. I'm gonna have to aim somewhere just short of that ridge and then kind of just roll up and then hopefully it rolls to the hole. Uh, dog, can you please be quiet? Run up. Oh, fuck. The dog is not happy with me today. Okay, still not on the green. I'm gonna try and just get it up there. I'll walk away with the bogey here, unfortunately. Break, break, break. 
Oh, I thought it was going to turn at the end. Thank you. Okay, back to Tuanda. 348 meter par four. Pretty straight, I've got bunkers left and right, but I should be able to hit it over. Beautiful. At least the drive's not letting me down today. This is gonna be a beautiful shot to look at, if I get this right. Be freaking good. Okay, a little bit short, that's okay. Uphill left to right part. Should be a pretty easy part. Let's sink this birdie. Break, 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 break. Oh. It's close. Still two under. Okay, short part four. Hopefully we can get a birdie here and get back down to three under. Get over. Okay, I didn't even know there was a hazard behind me, but thank God I didn't get into it. A little 50 to 60 yard chip shot. I'm gonna get this up and then land it soft. Be good. Whew. Oh, okay, pretty straight. Downhill, I'm just gonna aim inside left because if anything, I think it might break at the end. Come on. Let's go. Who knew playing golf was so tiring? So we have a 400 meter par four. Where does it go? Dog leg right. So I'm gonna aim at the bunkers on the left here and try and hit a cut. Smashed it. Be good. Kick right, kick right. Whew. I think pausing at the top with my driver or at least feel like I'm doing a slight pause at the top is really doing me wonders with my drives. I think the problem is when I get to the top I tend to find my hips so fast, my arms kind of get low and then like flippy. But pausing at the top kind of just slows down my swing and it just stops my hips from firing too quickly. Give it a go. I've got a 52 degrees, I'm going to hit this pretty soft, get it up in the air, try and land it soft. Oh, be good. Oh, bit short. Managed to just stay on the green. Uh, got an uphill part. Looks pretty straight. I don't think it's doing too much. Let's get this birdie. Oh, looked good, didn't it? Okay, 140 meter par three. I'm gonna hit a pretty hard nine iron and see if it gets there. Be good, be good. Oh, I lost balance, but be good. Whew. It's a little bit short, but left myself maybe 20 footer for a birdie. This is an interesting part because it goes left to right, then right to left and straight. So I'm just gonna start off on the left hand side and hopefully it gets up to the hole. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Whew, good. Is that three under 315? Not bad. Okay, 16th hole, 475 meter par five. Aim at these bunkers on the left and try and hit a big high fade. I can't see the ball anymore. Okay, this is a long par five. I think this is the first time I've hit a three wood. 
I might go long with this, so I'm gonna just swing nice and soft, hopefully hit a nice high cut and land it anywhere short of the green. Oh, pulled it. Exactly why I don't like hitting a three wood. I must switch it up to a like a seven hybrid or something. I left myself a pretty hard chip shot here. Gotta get this up and land it soft. Be good. Pin high. I'm gonna aim somewhere around there. Get in here. So close. So close. The sun was meant to set 10 minutes ago, so it's getting pretty dark. I'm gonna have to play pretty quickly. Par four. 338 meters, just gonna aim left and hit another high cut. Felt good. Left myself a 60 yard chip shot. I don't know if you can see, but there's just before the hole, there's a huge slope. I need to make sure I really get this up there. Okay, it's up. Whew. Okay, pin high, downhill, slight left to right. Actually, there's a lot of break, so I'm gonna aim maybe a hole to the left. Go, go, go! Oh, left your handbag at home. Damn, three under going into 18th. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but I can't see anything. I'm not gonna hit a driver, I'm gonna hit a four iron. Hopefully it stays low so I can see it, but also staying on the fairway. I don't know, I'm so sorry guys. I can't see, I literally have to play with the flashlight on. I don't know where the pin is, I can't really use my rangefinder. <laughs> Just gonna hit an eight iron. Just do the classic hit and hope. I don't know. Oh my God, I actually hit the green. Uphill left to right, I think. Just get it near the hole, please. Just get it near. Sit. Oh shit. Slightly right edge of the hole. We did it. Okay, managed to play full 18 holes. The last few holes in the dark, but we still managed to get it in. Pretty decent score. The course is absolutely beautiful here. Ironsbury Golf Club. I love country courses. You can really tell the members really look after the course as well. So if you really like this video again, please, please, please leave something in the comments below because I love responding to you guys. And let me know which other courses you want me to play. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.